All right then. We've got two missions ongoing. Lunar Orbit. That is locked in. Three months until launch. Satellite imaging. We've got to complete all... We've got nine months before we built the uh, launch vehicle. And then one more besides. Let's have a look at what requests we've got. Got quite a few now. Oh, my lord, really? Okay, then. Your researchers wish to test a new heat shield in a crude, basic Earth orbit mission. That's a lot of money. It's an awful lot of money. Life support test for a load of research. Um, are there any milestone missions? Oh, we're already doing satellite imaging. Or will be. We could do that one. We could also do some more... Oh, well, actually, we haven't got anything we can do there yet. Okay. <laughs> like I read that as meat shield. Meat shield analysis. <laughs> yeah, this this would definitely be the uh, the, the Belial mission. Sending Belial. That's a, so we can analyze him as a meat shield. We're just going to kind of strap him to the front of the, the rocket. And just skim along the atmosphere and just see how well he does at, at, at just kind of absorbing all of that all of that friction. That 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 intense energy. It, it'll be great. It'll be great. And then when the experiment is done, we're we're just gonna deploy Bilal as a massive flashy parachute. It's gonna be great. Dual purpose. Now we're gonna take this one. That is an awful lot of money we want it. So, heat shield analysis, 1,800 kilos. Let's have a look. Achieve Earth orbit, we're going to need a whomping great amount of short range comms. Um, yeah, sure, we'll go with, uh, we'll go with comms there. Select payload, let's get that doing. Now, we're going to have to wait a little bit to get the money for this, but it'll be well worth it when we can. Next month. Launching multi-crew orbit in 11 months. Upcoming International Geophysical Year. Organizers of the International Geophysical Year have reminded your agency about your pledge to complete the satellite imaging mission in time for the event. You have 18 months in which to complete the mission. That's fine. We're, we're, we're sorted. PR office is essential in improving public awareness of our missions and to gain great support for our agency. Right. There we go. Let's get this going. Tonk. Go. Also, research. Now that we've got that... Diplomacy office, an office with de a dedicated diplomatic team who will focus on forging strong relationships with other agencies, plus 25% uh, reputation reward for successful joint missions, increase the likelihood of joint missions being offered. Or the visitor center, plus 10% total rewards from successful request missions. Okay. But I feel we need to do some stuff down here now. We can go for the multi-crew orbit, which would be grand, or we can go for the Mars flyby or the Venus impactor. What do you think? I think Mars flyby. It's a game about Mars. Compelling fixture of Earth's night skies, Mars has inspired myth and speculation in equal measure. Sending a probe would yield unprecedented observational data, bringing humanity closer to the red planet than ever before. The science reward will be 2,400 over 12 months. It's not bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll go for this one. All right. Now, as for the base, we have got the PR office, which is ridiculously expensive. Uh, but we'll see how that one goes. All right. Next month, we're going to be launching the lunar orbit. All right, then. Chat. Here we go. If we can do this well, we get third place. So yet another completion of a milestone achievement. Suboptimal date. Minus 20%. Yeah, that does suck. But we've got uh, a solid bit of uh, boost thanks to the reliability training. 
It's raining as well. Oh no, <laughs> why? This is not what we needed, game. Please only be late. Oh, look at the skies. Ugh. This looks like a bad one. We might have to reschedule. Eleven percent. We're gonna reschedule the launch. Eleven percent is just dire. We schedule it. There's no way we're doing that. We'll go for October. It's the best time we've got. We'll try again. Confirms that up. There's no way we were going to risk that one. Absolutely no way. Payload Technology Leak. Your astronaut, Zoth, has inadvert... Zoth! You scoundrel! You've leaked data about our technology using the Mercury payload. The information could benefit other agencies, which has led to some of the media demanding the astronaut be dismissed. Your advisor suggests a fine, might be more moderate response, but have also proposed a radical alternative. Release full specifications of the payload. The latter may grant other agencies more science, but will also improve our relationship with them. Hmm. Fire him into space! No. They're, they're a pretty good astronaut. And I'm going to share it. We'll turn the loss into a win. Gain 15 reputation with all other agencies, and another agency has gained science. But only another agency. We don't know which one, but... Uh, yeah, there we go. We're, we're, we've almost got America to the point now where, uh, where we're going to be friendly. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Right, Mercury complete. Let's have a look. Wow. Minus 50% cost for level zero vehicle parts. That is actually pretty impressive. Okay. I'm not sure we're going to be using a level zero vehicle part, though. I'm going to be honest with you. All right. Launch date, one month. Come, uh, we've got four months left to finish the launch vehicle. All right. Let's have a quick look. I mean, we could use this at this point. That would be a heck of a lot cheaper than this. And if we then use the booster that we've not used before. I mean, we could. We would get, we'd also, by doing this, we'd also bump the the uh, level of those parts. And if we go with Messier Aerospace, is it Messier? I'm really, I, I apologize so profoundly for my ignorance in how to pronounce that name. Um, but if we went with this, we could then boost the launch reliability back up. I believe that we've got the first name of someone who's actually in chat tonight. There we are. I think this will be a pretty solid one. It's only going to cost us 200k. Messier. Is that how it would be pronounced? Messier? But yeah, we're going to go with this one. Sure, we'll build it immediately. We are six months. Lunar orbit. Let's have a look. There you go, Wolfisker. Best of luck, mate. All right, let's launch. It's time for the cider now. Hmm. Okay, we've got good weather this time. That's better. Good conditions plus eight percent. We're now at eighty-seven percent reliability. That is so much better. Place your bets in chat. You know what you need to do.
Ha! Who said XCOM time? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Kylie, shame on you. Delithia. Delithia, I believe. Doom? No. Lies. Leafin Dapper Rip? No. Flawless Ascent. You couldn't be more wrong. Couldn't be more wrong. Plus 10% payload reliability on something that already had good payload reliability. This is what we needed. This is a lunar orbit mission. There we go. Jupiter is now level 5 as well. That is actually pretty good. That's almost an 80% now on the Jupiter booster. Nicely done. Okay. All right then. Perform a translunar injection. We've got to get two data and three navigation. But if we get more, we get bonus 25% reward for only just four data and five navigation. Have a look at what we've got available here. Controlled burn for two energy will give us two navigation already and the one there. Which we could then burn for four. Would, do we need it for anything? No, not really. Hmm. Okay, now this one's a tricky one. We're going to use that. And then we're going to go for this one. That's going to give us the four that we need. Then we just need to get five of these, which we should easily be able to get. These are expensive, unfortunately, but sure, let's roll for it. Nice. And we've got such a, a reliable payload here that it's probable that we're not going to have to worry too much about energy. And we've got a good chance of getting something nice. Okay, we just got, we performed well on that one. There we are, we've already hit our boost. So now I just need another four of these. So we could... Hmm. If I went for this, that would give me five. I could burn another two like that. Bring me up to the amount I need. Then... At this point, another two energy would bring me so close to everything I need. I could then use that one on the next roll. This is only going to leave me with one energy, though, to uh, deal with any big issues. So I'm going to actually recharge for once. Got a very small chance of things going really badly wrong, but you can't discount the possibility. There we go. So now with this, we've still got two turns. We've got so much room. So much wiggle room. So with that, we got that to four. Now we'll burn off the I could just burn off the two here. And go for this, it'll give me six, but I don't strictly need to, but we'll do it anyway. Might as well. This will give us everything we need. There we go. And we're sorted. So boost confirmed. Chief Lunar Orbit is our new task. Three and four. And this is where our improved observational system is going to really come in handy. Now, it was interesting in the first task, even though I, I went for data, yeah, we didn't really get that much boost out of it in the end. Whoosh, indeed. Hello, Isu. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here. Six and seven. That's that's actually a tall order. 
We're all right. I think we're I think we're we're up to the task. One, two. Then I could burn this for an extra two. That'll give me four. I could burn that for three. That, yeah, I think this is going to give us a good solid place to work from. We've got four turns. Should be okay. Oh, really? One percent? <laughs> we just got XCOM'd so hard. Ah, uh, the lock on the reference star has been lost due to dust particles scattering the sunlight. Okay, fine, we'll, uh... uh we need to burn it to get any of the resource, so... That 1%. Okay, mission data successful. Good. And? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Alright. Now then... With this, we've got four, we need six. I could burn three of them to bring us up to three and two, and then two of those to bring that up to six. So one, one, like so. And from there, we're gonna need to start really heavily investing then. That is a third. We'll bring us up to three seven. Then we just need uh, an extra three. It'll be really easy for us to get, generally speaking. Let's go ahead. Just okay. Very good. Oh, really, scoundrel! The distance to the payload has caused the signal strength to degrade. The command's output will be reduced by one comms. Uh, no, I'm, I'm willing to spend uh, an extra bit just to get that extra two there. Don't strictly need this one. Everything else we needed was, was, was fine. We've now completed it, no matter what. Just need to get an extra three there. So we could just go... Um, one... To see if we uh, we've only got enough power to take care of this once we've got an extra turn so I'm just going to recharge we'll just play you know be airing on the side of caution I think there's no reason to to risk it for this one we can we're guaranteed winning if we do it this way 10 again Oof. just on the edge of uh, that there uh, distance again has caused issues, so we'll just pay a little bit of extra power. That's why we've charged. And finally, we can just go recharge, then boom. And we're sorted. There's literally nothing that can go wrong. We'll just recharge a little bit more, just for the sake of it. That gives us 7 and 8, which is exactly what we need. There we are. Hooray. There we are. Third on it. That wasn't too bad. 491 for three months. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 734 now. That was glorious, actually. So here's our tier. Funding-wise, monthly reward, reached at uh, 1,500. We've got to get 3,000 before we get to the next one, yikes. Oh! Hmm. We've already smashed it, actually, so we're good. As for science, yeah, it's going to drop off pretty, pretty aggressively there. Okay. So we, we've got to get some more science on the go. But that was our first lunar mission. Oh, we haven't got any requests? Man, I was expecting that to open up some requests. Damn, that's, that sucks a bit. I was really expecting that to open up some requests. Ultra sucks. 
Right, heat shield in five months, satellite imaging in three months. We haven't got enough money to do anything here, so we're just going to have to wait on that one. So active missions it is then. We need to get some requests on the go. There's, we're already working on this one. We could get life support test. Oh, we're already working on that one as well, apparently. Uh, oh, no, 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 we're not. Um, I mean, that's a lot of science. It's what we want. We've already got satellite imaging in the in the queue. And there's not really anything else we can do right now. Multi-crew orbit and orb orbital EVA would be nice, but we're not getting those in uh, anytime soon. Finish second or above in two milestone missions. Well, yeah, we're gonna. That's gonna be a tricky one for us to get next. But okay, let's do the life support test. All right, payload for you. Let's have a look at more info. Achieve Earth orbit. We're gonna need navigation. And cons. Honestly, just popping that will be fine, I think. 288k, though. Yikes. And that's with a reduction as well. Okay, we're going to have to wait on that. Mars flyby, research complete. A compelling fixture of Earth's night skies. Mars has inspired myth and speculation in equal measure. Sending a probe would yield unprecedented observational data, if it gets there. That's not to get too far ahead of ourselves now. But uh, Mariner 1, a probe designed for planetary observation and atmospheric sampling, equipped with a large high-gain dish antenna. 800 kilos. I can almost bet we're going to need a large launch platform to get this one done, but yeah, we'll go for it. Oh, we're still waiting on that. We've got to get a bit more cash in the bank. Funding review in one month. Don't think there's anything else we can do here. One month actually on satellite imaging being ready to uh, pencil in the launch date. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. What else is everyone doing? Multi-crew orbit in 14 months. Launching orbital EVA in 12 months. Venus Impactor in 21 months. Let me have a quick look. Venus Impactor, they've got 10 months on that one. We've got Orbital EVA in 8 months. Multi-Crew Orbit in 3 months. And Multi-Crew Orbit in 12 months. We're not going to get second place on those, I don't think. Power cut averted. Thanks to your backup power generator, a major power outage did not disrupt any base activities or mission operations. A local phone-in show praised your agency's foresight. City planners need to learn from those space folk, one caller commented, complaining that the blackout had ruined their lemon drizzle cake. No, surely not. A range... <laughs> 1K? What was the lemon drizzled over? Gold? My goodness, that better be the, one of the best bloody cakes. Now oh, we'll, we'll arrange for it. Dunk. Your agency performs over the last one. <laughs> My lord. But there we go. 204k per month now. That is amazing. Can't put a price on a good cake. Ah. Apparently you can. $1,000. Uh, okay. Uh, mission training bonuses increased by 100%. Good, good, good. Launch reliability seems fairly solid. All right, training. We can push this even further. Now, the base science reward is already astronomical. We could push it even more. Or we could go with reliability. Or... Payload. We don't really need the payload. I'm, all, I, I'm fairly good with that game. I think more science, honestly. Did I send the cake to them on a rocket? 
Yeah, possibly. We're already getting a lot of science there. Yeah, it's not just $1,000. It's $1,000 in 1964. Yeah. What do you think, chat? Science or launch reliability? The launch reliability is only 73%. If this was all at 80, I'd, I'd say for science, but... It was a space cake. The food science was, <laughs> was worth it. Fair enough. Yeah, it looks... Uh, I think we're going to be going with the reliability on this one. All right, launch date. Got a couple of months to go for. You can have it up to 91% there. 97, 99. Is this... Which one is this? Um... Satellite imaging. We've got the time, I believe, to do it. There's not really much point in going to June. We'll do it in May. So, I'm a baker. I can do you a deal on cakes, and they will only cost you 750. What a bargain! <laughs> I know, right? Uh, that's fantastic. Okay, we'll go for May. That's a good balance between them, I think. Tonk. Four months ago. Uh, life support test. We can now build this, so let's get that going. Finally, it's 500k still. It's 100 signs a month. That would be a nice boost to everything we're doing, really. All right. Well, mission's in progress. That one's locked in. Still waiting on these. Two months and three months, respectively. Um, if you're wondering why I only increase it by one month, is I enjoy watching the uh, various space agencies launching stuff. The Mariner 1 research is complete. A probe design for planetary observation. Hooray. Nice looking rocket, too. Google says that's an 8.5k cake in today's money. Dear Lord. And remember that the funds that I'm using are... I mean, it's not that the euro was around back then. It's, it's only 1964. Um, so actually, it could be any of the currencies in Europe. So that could be a lot less or a lot more. If it was the pound. Oof. Right, okay. So, heat shield. Let's get you in this. Launch reliability. A sign is off. Confirm. Training. What is the reliability? Base launch reliability is 75%. We can increase it significantly. Let's do that. Launch date. I think 87% is about as good as we're going to get. So let's go for July. Confirm the setup. Let's go. New space PDR article. Mariner 1. Cool. 